Hello, I'm Nick Clark. This is Al Jazeera, and these are some of the stories we're covering. There's been an escalation of tension on the streets of Bangkok following several explosions. Anti-government protesters want the United Nations to take control of the situation and end a six-week political standoff. The main focus of protests has been the capital, but the red shirts have their stronghold in rural areas, as Ali Callan now reports. One third of the Thai population lives in this Isan region. That's what makes these regional rallies so significant. Even if the protesters in Bangkok are silenced, there are many more vowing to make their voices heard. The Roman Catholic Church has responded to Pope Benedict XVI's call for action on child abuse. On Thursday, the Catholic Church in England and Wales apologised to victims. Peter Jennings is the press secretary to the Archbishop of Birmingham and says the Vatican is not responding to media pressure. These are terrible crimes which the media has a right to uncover. But I also think there's a way to do it and I also think that the Vatican is trying to respond in a measured way. It's not trying to respond to every news headline or every news story. Demonstrators have taken to the streets of Mosul to protest against allegations of torture inside prisons in Iraq. Iraqi officials have admitted many detainees were tortured. Al Jazeera has interviewed people who say they were abused. We were tortured for four long months continuously. Whether you recognize or not, whatever they wanted you to say, they kept torturing you. And the prisoners, they died during the torture. In the last 48 hours, Israel has deported two Palestinians under recently extended military orders. One has been sent to Gaza, another is still waiting at the border there. He hasn't been allowed in by the Hamas authorities, but the Israelis won't let him return. Jackie Rowland has this. If you're an, a Palestinian whose ID was issued in Gaza and you move to the West Bank, say, to get married or whatever, and you always have that um, that ID that was originally issued in Gaza, you run the risk of being picked up at a checkpoint and kicked back to Gaza, however many years you've been in the West Bank. Uh, you can find the latest on all those stories and a lot more at aljazeera.net forward slash English.